Hi guys, I'm back with another dip powder mani. So before we get started, I do have on Luxie Nail Builder Gel. I have on the uh, rubber base coat, the Builder Gel, which comes in a pot. It is clear and followed by the no wipe top coat. Luxie Nail uh, Builder Gel products, um, are all HEMA free and I applied two coats of the Revel Nail Clean Slate Pillable Base Coat. So guys just hang out with me while I do this dip powder application um, and I will be using um, IGL Beauty dip powder colors Wild Watermelon and Winter White, uh, not Winter White, Lord, Dark Pink which is really not a dark pink, strange I know. Um, it says dark pink but it's really a really light pink. But anyway, I digress. And then I will be using some Poshy Nail decals. So guys, just hang out with me while I do this dip powder application. So y'all, let me tell y'all about that uh, Rebel Nail Clean Slate. Now, I think it is truly meant to go on natural nails. This is not a product, in my opinion. This was like my third time using this. I think I used this for three videos. And... This product would not budge when I applied it on top of my builder gel. First, I tried it with one layer, didn't budge. I had to end up filing it off. Some would come off like near the cuticle area, but I guess because my nails have length, it would just break off, the uh, application would break off in the middle of my nail. So I couldn't get the other to budge even using cuticle oil and filing, still couldn't get it off. Um, so I just had to file it all off, um, hand file to use my e to get it all off. Um, and then I was like, let me try it with two um, two coats of, I mean, two generous coats of the pillable base coat. It still did not budge. I did this particular mani on a Sunday, I believe, and I'm doing this voiceover. It's a Wednesday, and usually with the pill-off base coat on top of my builder gel, I don't get a lot of wear out of it, um, but this one is still on here. Like, it's still on here. I don't, there's no signs of lifting, um, but I just know that I'm gonna have to end up filing this dip powder off, um, which I hate doing that because it takes forever. But, um, and even put my hands in acetone for a few seconds or a few minutes, still didn't budge. I don't like this pill off base coat. Don't recommend it again. So you will also notice as I'm doing this application, um, some of the uh, base is not adhering to my nails. And I think that's because of the base coat. Like I, I'm like, I know I polished over that area, but it's just missing. No worries. I just go back over it again with my second application. And um, you'll also notice that I started dipping my finger because it, I think it was drying too fast. The base was drying too fast on top of the peel off base coat.
So after I cut out the decals, I'm just placing them in water. Usually I put it on a paper towel and spray them. I wanted to try a different method. And then I'm going to go in, uh, wipe off excess water, and then apply the decals to my nails and even them out, um, smooth them out as much as possible. The one thing I will say, I did end up ripping the decal on my middle uh, nail eventually from just overworking the decal. So you want to avoid overworking the decal. So after I uh, positioned my decals where I wanted them to go, I went in and applied an, um, 
another layer of IGEL Beauty's base coat and cured for 30 seconds in my LED lamp. And then I then am going in with a microblading stick and my IGEL Beauty jewelry gel because I wanted to add some rhinestones to the watermelons. After I applied the jewelry gel, I'm going in with IGEL Beauty's No Wipe Top Coat because I don't want to have to uh, apply that around the rhinestones or on top of the rhinestones. So when I cure, it will be fully set. So I applied rhinestones to the other two nails off camera, but before I did that, I did flash cure each nail um, for a few seconds so the rhinestones wouldn't budge. So guys, after your nails have cooled off, um, well, before I say that, um, I did end up adding a single rhinestone to my thumbnail and pinky nail just to bring in the watermelon colors of the decals. Um, so I hope you guys like the finished look. You want to always finish your mani with your favorite cuticle oil once they cool off from the being in the lamp. So I hope you guys like it. You'll have to let me know what you think. Please like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe. That will help me out and I would greatly appreciate it. Um, so I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.